With TAE, I remember their backers, because I know them from a fusion perspective, Google, Chevron. Google you know, and Chevron have been their two major recent players. Yeah, I mean, Gol you know, Goldman, some others. Look, I think when it comes to nuclear fusion, what, that's 25 plus years? You know, in least, terms of the yeah. Max, the Maxwell winners, the Nobel winners that they've had here. So I've always viewed this is going to be if th there's a winner in the U.S. and global nuclear fusion. It's TAE. So I think that's at the centerpiece of this whole deal. It's much more about TAE, in my view, than in terms of on the Trump angle. That's right. obviously the political backing. Is this an arms race, if you will, a fusion race with China? We saw what they did with electric vehicles. You're conversant in China and AI, the NVIDIA chip debate in that. Is this like getting out in front of China, catching up on nuclear fusion? That's what it's all about. I mean, I think, you know, me and you have talked about this and, you know, on the show, this is an arms race versus China. I mean, everything that they're focused on is going to 2030, how they fuel AI arms race. Technology, U.S. is way ahead of China because of NVIDIA, because of Microsoft, because of Palantir and others. Energy is their scarcity. Like I've always said, like, energy is going to be the big scarcity. Nuclear has to be the play. You know, obviously there's Aqua and others, but this will clearly be the first fusion public play. So, Dan, I think most people understand the Trump media company as a media play, a digital media play, if you will. Um, can you tell us about TAE? Because most of us don't know a whole lot about TAE. Yeah. And again, TAE, I think, is the centerpiece of the whole deal. I mean, even though it's a merger, it's it's really about TAE, in my view. I think, look, when you look, this is, what, 25, 28 years, you know, mostly out of California. They have built, I think it's about five, you know, sort of, re, you know, what I'll say, few successful fusion build outs. This is one, I think it's, Five Nobels, so many Maxwells, you know, in terms of from scientists that have been through there, Schwab backing, you know, it's kind of who's who in terms of what they've had backing. But yeah. this has really been one coming out of the Cal system, science community. And that's always what it was right. known as. It was always sort of a gem yeah. in the science community. Yeah, I noticed Jeff Immelt was a former board member, but with TAE folks, to see Eugene Monet's there, who's just absolutely definitive across all political lines of America. Dr. Monet's, of course, associated uh, with MIT. They, they Let's say, Dan, as a statement, TAE has a heavyweight board, but you got to get something done. Going back to Lawrence Livermore Lab ages ago, it's a lot of theory. It's a lot of politics, including the Advance Act, accelerating deployment of versatile, advanced nuclear for clean energy. It sounds like an episode, Dan Ives, of Get Smart, except you're too young to remember Get Smart. But the answer is, is there any indication fusion will work? Oh, I think that's that's you don't do this deal if you don't think this is going to work. I mean, if you look what TAE has done. It's not just, I think, like the best bet from a U.S. perspective and even global relative to energy. And clearly, there have been obviously so many starts and stops when it comes to fusion. But I do believe this is one where when you look at breakthroughs combined with what you, you'd get from a capital perspective, because we've always yeah. said like that's part of the arms race. That's why this would be such a unique combo. You know, Paul, this is great. I want to thank the Kleinman Center for Energy Policy at the University of Pennsylvania for getting me up to speed on this. They got a chart in here from Sorbonne, 1915, a proposed power plant. It looks like the set silo. Right. I mean, that's yep, what, yep, yep. That, if I did to land man <laughs> in hydrocarbons. The fusion <laughs> thing looks like the set of silo is what exactly. I would put it. Dan, from TAE's perspective, why are they merging with... Trump's media, President Trump's media company? Well, I think two, probably two reasons, right? I mean, one, capital. I mean, I think Trump, you look at what, two, two and a half billion cash and, you know, Bitcoins or capital you get right away if you did this, right? As opposed to if it just merged into just a regular spot, they'd have no capital. So that's one. And obviously it's political backing, right? I mean, implied relative to Trump administration, it's essentially kind of them picking the winner. More or less. I think that's how it'd be viewed.